Melinda Simpson from Melbourne was leaving Las Vegas Mandalay Bay Hotel and Casino with her husband, son and daughter when the shooting began. She would later learn a shooter on the 32nd floor of the casino was firing down onto a packed crowd of thousands at the Route 91 Outdoor Country Music Festival below. Hours later, it would be reported that more than 200 were injured and at least 50 dead. Melinda, who is the daughter of a former federal senator for the Northern Territory, Trish Crossan, told Hack of the Chaos and Terror as 20,000 people streamed onto the gaming floor of the nearby MGM casino to get away from the shooting. She and and her husband were three weeks into a U.S. holiday with their 17-year-old son and 11-year-old daughter. They'd just been to see a show at the Mandalay. As they came out, they were met by a flood of people running down the strip and screaming about a shooter. Melinda said that, at first, because this was the Vegas Strip, where they knew strange and violent things happened, they didn't comprehend this was unusual. A man flashed a police badge and shouted, Get off the bridge, he's shooting down, he's shooting down. That's when they started running. The MGM was about a kilometer away. The bottom floor of MGM is massive, there were tens of thousands of people running inside, some with blood over their face some with blood over their arms, Melinda said, speaking hours later from a hotel room in the MGM, which was in lockdown. There was a woman with ripped jeans and blood on her knees. I said to her you okay? She just yelled at me and said, people don't f-king care, they tried to squash me to get out. She was swearing and crying. She said people didn't give a shit they just ran over me. I could just feel the terror in her voice. Terror as false rumors of multiple gunmen circulate Melinda said paramedics were treating the injured on the casino's gaming floor. The music was still playing and Boki's machine still making a racket. I don't think anyone was shot. But one woman had a dislocated shoulder and then there were people laying on the floor. I looked at them and could tell they had been either crawling or trampled on. They were injured, I don't think from the gunmen but from trying to get away. In the MGM casino, the televisions mounted around the walls began playing breaking news reports of the shooting. Wild rumors began circulating on Twitter. There were stories of multiple gunmen and of police finding explosives. These were later found to be false. At one point, Melinda said, a man appeared inside the casino screaming, Everybody run! We were like what the FK? Is he getting chased by the gunman she said. Melinda said when her 11-year-old daughter saw the carnage in the casino, she threw up. Melinda said one couple told her they crawled under the stage of the music festival and then found their way out through a kitchen at the back. There were the plenty of people screaming they've lost a partner, there were lots of people screaming on the phone answer the phone I don't know where you are. There were plenty of people saying they just got down and crawled. They covered their partners' heads and crawled out of the festival. Hotels in lockdown as Strip deserted. The shooting happened about 10:08 p.m. and Melinda spoke with Hack around 1 a.m. from the MGM. A concierge had found the family and directed them to a vacant hotel room. Melinda said the area around the Mandalay was a sea of red and blue flashing lights. MGM security was not letting anyone leave the hotel. The whole strip has been locked down. I reckon every cop in Vegas is on the strip, she said. The hotel has security guards everywhere you look. We can still see ambulances rushing. There must be someone or something that still needs attention. Kyle Bott from Ballarat in Victoria also told Hack he was in lockdown at the MGM Grand Hotel and he could see approximately 15 ambulances across the street. There is, what I assumed to be. An ambulance base set up over the road out the front of the Hooters Hotel, he said. Austin Nelson, who was at the sold out concert with his girlfriend, posted a video on Twitter showing people closely huddled together on the ground. Gunshots can be heard and someone yelling, Mother Efker, get down. Someone got hit, someone got hit. Austin tweeted that at first everybody thought they, gunshots, were fireworks. He said he and his partner are safe. After running into a hotel room a few blocks away. Gunman was a local, sheriff says country music star Jason Aldean was on stage when shots were fired. He is reportedly safe. Jay Cohen, who played before Jason Aldean, 
said he witnessed the event, praying for everyone here in Vegas, he tweeted. I witnessed the most unimaginable event tonight. We are okay. Others aren't. Please pray. Sheriff Joseph Lombardo said officers located the gunman on the 32nd floor of the Mandalay Bay Hotel and Casino and the law 